Welcome to The Rock Interview. We're catching up with the Bellamy Brothers, Howard and David, and they have a brand new album out, plus touring with Blake Shelton this year. Thanks for coming on the show, guys. Thank you, man. Good to see you. You know, I, I love the new album, and we were talking about, you know, all the different tracks to where, you know, you've got sitar on one song, you've got harmonica, you've got accordion. I mean, this is a really well done, you know, I, I hear like nods to like the Allman Brothers, but then also I'll hear something that reminds me of like Marty Robbins. Right. A lot of variety on there. Yeah, well, we've, we've been influenced by so many people. Even, even uh, one song there is uh, an old Jimmy Rogers style. Yeah, you know, yeah. Which is what the first music we ever played with our dad, he, that was his favorite singer, Jimmy Rogers. Really? Yeah. That was our roots, really. Yeah. I'll tell you what, I love it. And, and the album sounds so fresh, given a, you know, it definitely has that Texas sound that you guys have always kept. But I think my favorite song is, is the one about that the you sing on, Howard. To where it's like where parts are kind of wearing out. <laughs> that only means you're getting old. If you like that? Song. That's, all, that's autobiographical. <laughs> yeah. You know, that's what I was going to bring up to where some of the songs feel autobiographical, but that one, talk about this. Howard. Well, I was I was saying, you know, uh, all the songs that I've written, uh, the one that only took me an hour because I, I live living that song, it was, it was easy. <laughs> he got to write. up feeling that way. <laughs> I, I felt. I looked at myself and I said, "You need to write this song," but. Uh, yeah, I've gotten a lot of comment on it uh, off the album, and I, well, it's relatable. Yes, so. very. I think all the songs, and and like you know, you guys are doing so many great things. You know, we caught up last time, and and you've already kicked into the second season of of Honky Talk Ranch yeah. that is doing very well. And and I was watching part of this too. You know, the new tour bus really looks great. <laughs> yeah. Funny um, you should bring that up. That's right. the old tour bus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but um. Yeah, our uh, Jim, our steel player, he likes to tinker around, and we got him to. We said, well, you know, when everything needs refurbishing, you know, just work on things. The seat you know, covers. He's up in Nashville. We're down in Florida, so we're yeah. not really watching what right. he's doing. Yeah, we didn't know he put disco lights, and you know, he put the new flashing oh, Bellamy Brothers signs on the front. He does all this. I love it. I'll tell you what, you know, it's so incredible, and I definitely hope that our our viewers will watch this on the Cowboy Network. But seeing your guys' response whenever he turns on the lights, and you guys are like going. We just thought you were going to redo the vinyl on the seats, <laughs> you know. And I mean, it's like it's like a yeah. Bellamy Brothers after party bus. Yeah, oh yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It is a, an after party. <laughs> Costs too much to undo it now. So. <laughs> and and even I understand too that the uh, you've got your name lighting up on the front of the bus yeah. too. Yep. And and every at night after the show, people, everybody, all the fans come by and he's stand from, out there with it. Yeah, he's from Kentucky, so. That, that's, 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 <laughs> well, that explains a lot right there, Howard. I mean, you, you could have just told me that. But, uh, you know, the new album just came out this month. You got the, the tour with Blake Shelton. You've got your TV show. Your book didn't come out that long ago. Right. And you guys have been together playing music for 40 years. And it's just amazing how great, how you keep it going. And the fans, we were talking too, David, about, you know, overseas, which you guys have always been huge. But every time you play Germany and all these, I mean, you're the only uh, duo, I believe, to play India and Sri Lanka. Yes, that's true. I believe you're right. Yeah. yeah. And probably several other. <laughs> I didn't see any tour buses over there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> At least not with lights. <laughs> They'll see you coming now. Yeah, they will. Oh, oh, it's easy <laughs> to see well, us they, coming. They like that bling over there. Yeah. 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 So maybe that might go but I mean, over. you guys have such incredible fans. I mean, and, and obviously here in the States, too. But uh, overseas, I mean, wow, what a, what a foundation of fans to buy your music and come and see you in concert. Yeah, it's it's great. It's it's always been a, a wonderful thing, and and we've always had a you know especially the European audiences in, in Australia, we've done over the years. But the, we found out about India and Sri Lanka actually later in our career because ah. we weren't aware of them, you know. Because I used our, to get letters, you know, yeah. and, and things from yeah. uh, uh, fans from the country, but we our, never got we never got role. We never got paid for it. <laughs> Our, our, our label, it's like that movie Sugar that's Man. That's, uh, you guys are huge in Sri Lanka. It is, it is like Sh Sugar Man. You know, <laughs> exactly. Our label never told us we sold millions yeah. of records in yeah. India. Really? And we got there and everybody in, everybody in the country knows Beautiful Body because it's their wedding song. Oh, yes. oh my gosh. Yeah. So, uh, How amazing is that? So we were, they, would sing, they would sing the songs when we were playing. They would sing them louder than, than the band was playing. Wow. So we were like, wow. I don't, what it, so we started going there. It's a remarkable audience. Well, now, besides the Blake Shelton tour, which is obviously going to be huge, you guys are going to have your own, own solo tour and everything also going on, right? Yeah, we, we start after the Blake's tour. We, we do two months in the States, and then, we, and then we do two big European tours. Wow. 
Our yeah. solos tour never stops. You know what? But I love it though. But I, and I got to tell our viewers too. Keep up with the Bellamy Brothers on social media because to me it's always so much fun seeing you and Howard both. It's like where are they at now? It's like you know in all these different countries. It's like, doing where's Where's Waldo? It's something. so much well, fun. Yeah, well, you know Joe Bonzo of the Oaks. He uh, he has a he had a game within the group there. He would always Where's Where are the Bellamy's today? That was, <laughs> Joe started this game. It'd so be fun. You guys need each other. You guys back. need that like on the website to where there's like a little you know world map and there's like a little magnet of you guys and you just kind of move it around wherever you're going. Yeah, that'd be pretty funny. It'd be, it could be like a game. Like a game, yeah. You know what? It could actually be added to the bus the next time he does any updates. <laughs> That's how As that, a board that's, game. Hope that doesn't oh, happen. we could have little uh, refrigerator magnets and you can See? Just, just move it around. And maybe around. little different beverages depending on what day it is. What do you think? Uh, I think we, uh, no. Yeah, I think not. <laughs> <laughs> So now also I wanted to bring up, uh, you know, this is the second season of Honky Tonk Ranch. And, and I know you guys have done so well with this. It's fun to watch. The videos are fun. It's just, it's a blast. How do you guys come up with this stuff? Is this just as it happens? A lot of it is as it happens or, or has or happened. Has happened past, you know? yeah. Right. Yeah. It's just things that kind of happen on a daily basis. And, uh, you know, it doesn't seem abnormal to us. But it's a lot of times people are entertained by it, so we kind of put it all in there together, you know. It's like whatever video we're working on at the time, or if an alligator is in Howard's Pond one morning, or, you know, something. It is Florida. It yeah. is. It's pretty, pretty normal. Yeah, it's a Florida it's a cattle ranch, yeah. so you never, yeah. you never know what's going to happen. How incredible is that? Well, I also want to bring up, uh, where is the best place for our viewers to, uh, to get the new album, Over the Moon? Uh, you know, just recently came out. Where can they buy that? Buy the singles, everything, David. The, uh, well, the album is pretty much available everywhere. Okay. Uh, you know, Amazon, and uh, you know, if you if you stream, of course, Spotify, and it's you know all those places. Now, so, will you guys have them out on the road too on yes, tour? Yes, and we will we'll be doing oh, yeah. signings. We will and right, right after the Blake tour. That we'll we, when we get through with that, we will. Um, we don't want to hurt his sales. <laughs> it's like, you know, Howard, you are so kind with Blake. You know, it's like taking yeah. care of the young up and comers and well, not wanting to harm that. There you go. We're just, we're going out and help him sell some tickets, yeah. you know. I think that's amazing yeah. that you guys are doing that for him. Yeah, we didn't figure that you know, 100 seasons on The Voice, he had enough exposure. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Blake may want to come on your TV show now. Oh, well, wow. Because well, we'll you guys see. keep having great guests, and you know, besides the Gators and everything we else. Got a, we have, a, that's another thing we should mention. We got a lot of really great guests this, this year. Really? Yeah, we had uh, Eddie Raven was on the first one, and um, Billy Dean. Oh, yeah. Billy Dean comes down to our ranch in the middle of the Norwegian invasion, and that's pretty fun. And uh, Pat Green wow. has, showed up for it, and uh, Bertie Higgins sang Key Largo for us. On one episode. How great is that? Yeah, so that's, yeah, so that's a great artist this year and there. Well, you know, everybody loves you. Nobody, you know, everybody that knows the Bellamy Brothers and obviously your many fans worldwide, why wouldn't they want to come on the show, you know? It's, it's, it's a lot of fun. And, it, and it's every week on the Cowboy Network. Yeah, they, they actually show it about uh, two or three times a week. It's on Sunday night, it's the first area, and then Wednesday night and then Saturday mornings. Now, is it also airing overseas too? Well, we stream on RFD, okay. on their country club. Great. And we are streaming in 66 countries. Wow. Yeah. That's why yeah. we're doing this. I, I wish you guys could start achieving a little more. You know, between, <laughs> yeah. the, between the new album, the TV show, the book, 40 years wish together. I wish happened when I was younger. <laughs> <laughs> that fits can, into that I song, can take, Howard. I can take advantage of the perks then, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what, you know, and, and so many nominations through the ACMs and everything as a duo, and you guys just keep bringing the music and, uh, and, and sharing it with your fans, and we appreciate it. Oh, thanks, thanks man. Thanks. Well, well, be sure, get the new album, Over the Moon. You're going to love it. All the tracks, there's not a bad cut on there. And also watch them on their own TV show, Honky Tonk Ranch, The Bellamy Brothers. Thanks for watching The Rock Interview. Thank you.